Hey, how are you doing? I'm Colin. This is Shine Automotive, and this is what we call a week in shine, which is the day-to-day -day life of everything we get up to at the garage. They're the boys, and that's Lewis's girlfriend. And this is just a day-to-day -day garage vlog. And we also have projects. We've just recently hit 40,000 subscribers, so thank you to everyone. Let's get on with this week in shine, which is continuing from last week, because this is episode 49, 48, something like that. So go back, watch them, get caught up on them. There's a link up here to the week in shines, and we have loads of projects. And we especially have one project that everyone's at me for, and it'll be out soon i've just got to do the projects that pay the bills for example that one the honda on the ramp right now stuff like that and we've got the g-wagon as well so anyway let's crack on with today's episode i think i've waffled enough i waffled enough i've waffled enough i've waffled enough if you don't know who i am i waffle should be called the king of waffle I need to get a big hat on our baseball cap the king of waffle let's crack on oh, with today's episode Got this black aster in scrap. If anyone wants any bits on, Lewis will be putting some parts on eBay. We're just trying to get today after the bank holiday. Ryan's Subaru finished, and Lewis is doing the inside, and I've painted the bonnet, and the bonnet has come out really, really good. Flattening and polishing, and then I burnt through with the machine polisher. Now we were so realistic. What way? Yes. We won't hide this. It might be edited out in the main video, the Week in Shine video. It won't be. And Lewis is feeling better, but he's passed it on to me and Matthew. <laughs> And now I'm ill. Matthew's gone home at lunchtime after did a few jobs because he's ill. So yeah, the week in shine. I don't know how long this video has been. It's definitely not been over a one week because we've been that busy with stuff. Clay's balls just dropped off. Some more soft pads if you want to finish off the rest of the... Oh, oh, that's harsh. Right, so it's the following morning and I am about to jump in the van, which I've had to give a wash because Matthew's been using the van. So I want you all in the comment section to put down below. When you've used the van, clean all the dog snot off the windows now. Like. Hey, I know what Matthew will say. Thank you, Colin. And remember, if he's saying thank you, Colin, we've dubbed it over because he said F you, Colin. And that's all he ever says, yeah, F you, Colin. So then what we're doing now, we're gonna fly down to Sheffield, get some doors for that van for the Fiesta. And then after that, turn this off. And after that, I need to get the quarter painted, get the quarter done. And that is going out this Friday. And as it is today, it's Wednesday. Lewis is at college. Matthew's throwing a sickie. So after that, back here, get the quarter painted into primer. And then we can get the door fitted. Right, so it's on to another day. And I've got a stiff back from yesterday when I went to get them doors. But I did, and you're not going to believe this. When I was brushing my teeth yesterday morning, I twigged my back and I thought, Nah, it isn't that bad. So, I took my back brushing my teeth, that's what I'm saying. Pick the doors up for the Fiesta. Matthew never turned up. Lewis was at college yesterday, but he's back in today. He's working on this Civic, putting brakes on the front and pads on the back, I think. Or it might be the other way around. One side's getting new discs and pads, and one side's just getting pads. And then a pair of tyres. Lewis is going to rattle that one off nice and quick, aren't you, Lewis? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uh, brake cooling. Just yeah. turn it on an angle. I don't know what you can do with that. Has it got a cable tie on there? Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly how to fix that. Ooh. So these are the doors that we got. And in all fairness, they are tip top condition. I think, it, you know, there's a few light scratches that will polish out and there's a little chip on the door handle there that we'll just touch in. But you know, for the money, you can't complain. You can't complain. Lewis has got the Civic outside and he's going to flat and polish the headlights as they're minging. Right, it's got the Fiesta in. It's all masked up and we're just going to shoot that. Lewis has fitted the other door on it today, but you can't see it because it's under there. I don't even know why I came around this side. Got all the garage floor nice and wet down. Kind of wipe it and tap rag it and shoot it. So I've given the lights a polish and there's a bit of high definition sealer on there. And then obviously... One of that, because we've been a good customer, so we're just going to give it a quick wash, but I'm just going to whip round these plastics and just do this. Make them a lot more new of them. See the transformation? It's crazy. So we pulled the interior out because the interior seats were pretty minging in our fairness. So we're just going to give it a clean up because they're a really good customer. Key? Oh, on yeah, the floor there, Lewis. Okay. 
Yeah. Lewis is complaining it's hot, so I said let's open the, the boot for him. So we've just literally give him a very light power wash off and then we'll give them a vacuum, a vax out. Lewis is just gonna put that panel back in where we used access to get to leveling the quarter out. I've flatted off a few bits that I weren't happy with. I've just gone over it very gently there and then there was just a bit of dust in that bit. And then I'll get all that polished up, the new door on, get it all washed down, polished up. Next time she's going on holiday, she's going to have the wheels done as well. So, yeah, interior has got to look nice and presentable. So that's just a little gift that we're doing because we're nice like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a flat battery. Uh-oh. So we have a flat battery. A flat battery. And I'm just about to open something out of a box. That we're going to give a whirl and see if it'll start. Can anyone guess what's coming? So you all know Top Don. Top Don has been the support of our channel since the early days. And I forgot to put the jump pack on charge. I mean, we, every day we use the diagnostics machine, the battery tester, the jump packs, the battery chargers, which is actually on a job now. And... They've just kindly sent us out the new V220 Plus, which is two in one, jump start and battery tester. I need to use this because I've left the bloody stereo on, on the Civic and that's not charged. So it is a perfect time to open this and give this a whirl. And I know it's gonna do exactly what it says on the tin. And as always, lovely packing. And they always come with a lovely, lovely box. And this is so hard to do with one hand. Whoa, I love a new present. All right, let's give it a whirl. Simply find the port that you need to connect it to, plug it in. Now it has only come with 50% charge, so obviously they do want fully charging, but I'm sure 50% it's gonna start this little Civic. Hopefully, we'll soon find out. Right, we've connected, and there's a little boost button on the side. Click that, you hear the boost engage. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, into neutral. There we go. Just as easy as that. Thank you very much. That saves messing around. Also comes with a nice little light. Press and hold that. Your light comes on. You have two USB ports on one side, two charging ports on another side. Robust jump start plus. There we go. Wicked. Thank you very much, Top Don. Link's down below where you can get this. Look how easy that started, that. No messing around with jump leads. Just nice little compact. Keep that in your glove box for emergencies or anything like that. Charge your phone off it. It's power bank as well, isn't it, really? Many multitasks you can use this for. I know when we've been racing and we struggle for power, we've always had these and we've used them for charging the phones. Woo so, yeah. Top Don, as always. Thank you very much for supplying us with some new pieces of equipment. And this will get used all the time. With the JS3000, the JS2000. That has been a tried and tested piece of kit now. We've had that for over two years. We've had this for a year and a half. We've had that over two years. And that has been faultless. We had an issue with the dongle. Customer service sorted it out. Yes, you're not going to get a reply to your emails until early hours of the morning if you're living in the UK. But they will get back in touch with you. The technical support, you can reach them on Instagram. Email them and they will get back in touch with you. Top Don, thank you very much. In addition to all that, Top Don also has a new app on the App Store known as Battery Lab. The app itself is known as Battery Lab, but on the app, there's still references to its old name of Jump Surge, but it is in fact all Battery Lab. That's due to an internal error that is at this point in time being dealt with. Battery Lab is available to download right now on the App Store, so get typing and download it. And without further ado, here is Top Don themselves to show you how to do a battery test. Once we've paired the Bluetooth, now we can jump into the app and start doing our battery test. So you'll be able to see here on the app that we have a voltage on the main screen, but we're gonna jump into our battery test. There'll be some uh, text here to tell you how to go about it, but we already know that, so we're gonna skip past it. We have a regular flooded battery that's a CCA rated, and this particular battery is 850 cold cranking amps. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that. We'll hit next, 
it's going to perform the battery test. So we have a good battery. It's 100% state of charge, actually tested above its CCA rating. At this point, we can either click the share button and share it like you would share other stuff on your phone, or we can go on back. Top Don, we really appreciate everything you do for the channel and links down below, like I said, to all the products. Honestly, tried and tested. We got rid of our Snap-on Modis because the diagnostic machine has for the free updates as well. It's just a really good company. And I aren't just saying this because we're not sponsored by them they just send us out the stuff for us to try and that started that car what what more do you need lewis have you been for a cast on mad max yeah look at me what would your mad max name be if you're in mad max yeah grave digger grave digger yeah what are you doing today transit transit what korea what are you fit into it camshaft drive system <laughs> <laughs> are you fitting a cam belt nearly all by yourself yes Look how far you've come. Is it warm today? Yeah. yeah. I only live around the corner. I haven't come that far. <laughs> what Lewis is doing today is cleaning underneath the Honda, but that's coming up in its own episode, which hopefully will be out fairly soon. We had issues with the subframe, which is all underneath there, all being restored. Right, so we've got some poly bushes because you can't get the bushes for the arm that aren't dorsing it. To redo all the bushes with factory Bushes at the back is about 900 quid. Ridiculous. Poly bushes sent out nice and good. So there we go. So anyway, that's what's going on with the Honda. I don't think that's the same thread. What are you doing? Fixing cars, Lewis. Fixing cars. Fixing cars, drinking brews. Getting annoyed at you with that camera in my face. So we've got this coarser in. Got a bit of a rotten subframe, so in this uh, second hand one in that we've just uh, judged up a bit. Matthew's complaining about something. Bolts being wrong, threads or something. Oh, I think you should just send it in. <laughs> what do you think? Wind it in. Wind it in till it don't wind no more. What time is it, Colin? Past two. What time is it? Quite past what's two. That, what's that down there? Oh, it's brew time. Yeah. That's what that is. I'm in a brew. Matthew's just Matthew's back from being barley. Thank you, Colin. So yeah. What have you just done then, Matt? Fix the car. Put a subframe on, a Corsa for Jason. Nice little Corsa coming up for sale if anyone wants it. 1500 quid. Lovely car. Absolute stunning little car go on, there. Go on, Jason, sell it for us. It Tell us about it. It sells itself. Well looked after. <laughs> yes. It's well looked after. What an absolute little gem that is. Nice little car. Tell you, lovely little car, that limited edition. No expense has been spared on it. It's having a brand new exhaust for Eden, a full year's MOT. Yeah. It's all new tyres on it, new brakes, disc pads. Tell us about the so, finance options. There's no finance <laughs> options. <laughs> 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 Gas only. Who's been watching the Vito Van episodes? If you like it, let me know. But our friends at Atoto, you know how good they are. They've kindly sent us out a doubled in stereo to fit into it. This is the A6. Now they've got an offer on at the moment, so this video is coming out very, very shortly. But I thought I'd give you a sneak peek in the week in shine. Let's have a look. So there we go. That is what they've sent out. It's got a protective cover. I don't really want to get out of the box right now. Book pack. Everything's there. And they've even sent a reversing camera. We've got a lot coming up with the Vito van. A lot coming up. Yes, yeah, so there's a reversing camera. We have been... We've done a deal. And we've got a, a Viano. So we're going to try and swap a load of the interior over. So there we go with that. So, link down below to the Amazon link where you can get this on offer at the moment. But it is coming in a full video shortly with the next update on the Vito van. There we go. Waffle over. Lewis, you can go back to work now. Look at his little smile. Are you enjoying cleaning rust from underneath this vehicle? Yeah, I'm, I'm smiling because they know you too well. Yeah. No, no, you need a reversing camera. What do you need? What do you think? What do you mean? I need a reversing camera. When the last? When is the last time I bumped something? I don't know. You tell me. I can't quite remember. I have bumped some it recently. Yeah. yeah. Might have been Nathan's Kia. I don't know. Was it Nathan's Kia? I don't know. Can't remember. I bumped some it. Right. Yeah. Lewis is carrying on with this, and I have got that patch to do. That patch to do rear arch that bit and that bit and then this video will be coming out soon but lewis is on a major cleaning up mission underneath just after i finished polishing it it is chucking down so this is the side that had the scratch it is but a scratch that doesn't have the scratch now and i think that came out pretty pretty goddamn good to say 
that we ain't a body shop. So we'll look down here. Got all the swage lines back. It isn't blooming bad. Come on, give me some credit with that. Braid all that filler out and put a couple of thin skims of filler. So that's fixed. A pair of doors on that salt are locking his shoe out. It's had a driver's door and a passenger door. There's a driver's door, all in the pantom line. And that is ready to rock and roll. Oh, it's a brand new car. Someone's happy.